The extreme spike indicator is provided for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 platforms and execute it on the chart. Traders can also read this page to understand how the indicator works and has operated. From the navigator section, we select the indicator file and execute the indicator by dragging the file onto the chart. Just make sure to pay attention to activate the Allow DLL Imports option from the Common section, and then click the Confirm option. With the indicator, an oscillator window opens at the bottom of the chart. This indicator calculates the body length of the candle using the ATR of 200. When the length of a candle is twice the ATR value, it is considered a spike, which displays the spike major and spike minor in the settings. In the input section, options are provided for us. The first part relates to the display, the indicator's theme or template, which has three sections, light, dark, and custom. By selecting the light option, a light template is applied to the chart, a template that is set for my chart. By selecting the dark option, a dark template is chosen and by selecting the custom option, it retains your personalized template and only runs the indicator for the chart. The next section relates to the indicator's settings, specifically the time frame settings, which calculate and display your current time frame if it is in full screen, and you can change this value to different time frames as needed. The next part concerns repainting, where you can choose to disable the repaint option. Here, when repaint is active, meaning this option is set to false, the indicator may consider certain areas as spikes in the future, potentially repainting them and identifying another area as a spike. In this case, the area that was considered a spike will be shown as a point, which is regarded as repainting. The next section relates to calculating a candle coefficient for minors, which is set to 2, meaning if it is twice the ATR it is considered a minor spike. It shows us the upward and downward spikes in a hollow format. The next section relates to the major spike coefficient, which becomes the multiplier for the minor. If it is 2.5 for the minor, it is considered a major spike displayed in a filled format. The next part is for confirming spikes applicable for both minor and major. It considers the areas identified as spikes by looking at two candles before and two candles after, performing its calculations. If confirmed, it will be displayed to us, initially set to two candles, which you can change. The next section relates to alerts. When the miner shows downward, it sends us an alert, which you can choose to activate or deactivate. You can activate or deactivate the upward minor alert, and you can also activate or deactivate the downward minor alert. You can deactivate it, and in the next section, you can set the stable alert. Here, I choose the dark template and then click the confirm option. The dark template has been applied to my chart, and the indicator has been executed for me. Well, friends, we have reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would be happy if you share your comments and suggestions with us in the comments section.